What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. And <laughs> don't adjust your screens because I know in the background you're like, what in the world is he doing? I am playing some hardcore team death match. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm a domination player and I play free for all, but you know, it's been getting a little stale. I'm not gonna lie. I love this game to death. I'm not gonna stop playing it, so don't think that. I just I was trying something new. I, I messed around with some search and destroy, and I was like, you know what? I have been watching all of these YouTubers out there going for this 70 kill challenge in TDM. And it sounds like, oh my gosh, how in the world would you get 70 kills in TDM? It just sounds like a lot. What, what you're doing is you're gonna get 70% of the kills. Well, if you remember back in Black Ops 2 or every other Call of Duty there was, to get 70% of the kills would be like getting, what, 52 kills in a TDM beforehand? Well, in Black Ops 2, I never really had that big of an issue doing it, okay? So I decided, you know what, I'll give myself a little challenge. Now, I'm not gonna be grinding this one like I did that nuked out, but you know, when I'm playing solo or when I get bored with domination or free for all, I'll jump into a TDM and I'll see what I can do. And I have a wicked gameplay for you later on this week. I got close. So this is my my second attempt at going for 70 kills. My first one, I went like 47 and four on combine, and it was and, and I was in the game and I was like, wow, this is this is really easy. And I think what it is, is people who play TDM are not accustomed to players running at them. As soon as they see somebody running at them, oh man, they freak out. They don't know what to do. So I play very aggressive on TDM. And, I, and it's not necessarily the smartest thing to do in hardcore because you die super fast. So in this game, I'm going to drop 55 kills. Now real quick, there was a video that Bootney Farnsworth uploaded last week and it got me thinking all right and I'll link him down below this this video he talked about you know what game mode has the highest skilled players in it and this was an argument I don't know if he remembers this but this was an argument back around Black Ops 1 Modern Warfare 3 and a lot of youtubers got into it and I had my own opinion but I never uploaded it or anything like that so let me tell you I'm gonna rank them and I'm just gonna focus on the top played uh, game modes right now in the game I would say the easiest game mode to play in would be Core TDM. That's where the noobs are. The second easiest would be Free For All if you're playing solo. Free For All always. After that, I would put Kill Confirmed because Kill Confirmed is basically TDM on steroids. It does take a little bit more talent than TDM, so you're gonna find a little bit better players in it, but uh, I don't think it's as difficult as the next one, which would be Hardpoint. Hardpoint, it depends if you're playing solo or with a team, but Hardpoint can be very difficult at times if you go up against people who know what they're doing, especially people who know how to manipulate the Hardpoint. I do play Hardpoint. I haven't really played it that much in Black Ops 3 because the playlist is so empty. Um, after Hardpoint, I would say Domination would be the next most difficult uh, game mode to play in. And last but not least, and you guys may be shocked by this, I would say the most difficult, or, or let me change that, the game mode where you're going to find the highest skilled players would be Search and Destroy. And you may be shocked by that, but I want you to think about it. These guys, they get one life per round. They have very specific ways and very interesting ways of navigating the map. And their ability to think tactically and search and destroy, any search and destroy player will annihilate a team deathmatch player or a domination player because they know how to navigate and how to counter you faster than anybody else. And, and they're smart. They're not going to go heads up on you all the time. Their goal is to flank and to catch you off guard. Think about it. Put down below what you guys think is the most difficult game mode. And as always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button because it does help me. And subscribe for more. We'll talk later. Have a good one. I'll win and make it look easy.